Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here. And what I have is two containers that contain my gold refining waste. And what I do when I refine gold is uh, I rinse off the gold powder after it's been precipitated with multiple water and hydrochloric acid rinses. And so today what we're gonna do is hydrochloric acid we're going to add hydrochloric acid to both of these containers. And what happens is a little bit of the gold gets poured off every time I uh, do a rinse and it accumulates in these containers. And today what we're going to do is try to recover the pure gold out of these waste containers. This container is not heat resistant glass. But this one back here is, so I'll add a little bit of heat to this one in the back. Now I've got some nitric acid. I'm gonna put a few squirts of nitric acid in here. And now what we'll do is just let these uh, react and try to get this gold to go into solution. While I'm waiting for that gold to dissolve, it's probably going to take about a half hour. Let's uh, take a peek down inside my silver cells to see what kind of progress we're making here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, this is silver cell number two. It's been running for about three days now with the new power supply. That looks awesome. And uh, over here is silver cell number one. This, this one's ready. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, harvest the pure silver out of here. It's getting too full. If we let it run too long, what will happen is that silver crystal will uh, come in contact with the anode filter basket there and short it out. So we'll probably have to go ahead and, and harvest this tomorrow. I'm going to try to knock some of those crystals down in there so we can uh, create some room to prevent that from happening, from contact from happening. And if you notice on uh, silver cell number one, I've got a uh, inline three amp fuse here to protect it in case that crystal does end up contacting that anode basket. It could burn a hole through it and then uh, allow all the slimes and junk from the filter to uh, get down into the cell and ruin this batch of pure silver crystal. So uh, the fuse should prevent that from happening. All the gold is gone in solution, so now what we'll do is we'll transfer the gold bearing solution from each of these containers to a clean beaker. Now there's going to be a whole bunch of extra nitric acid in the uh, gold solution. So what we'll do is we're going to reduce this down now, evaporate it down to a syrup to drive off all the extra nitric acid that's in there. In my experience, the best way to rid a gold solution of excess nitric acid is this method right here, evaporating it down to a syrup, and that will drive off 
any excess nitric that's in there. However, it takes a long time, and I'm trying to get this video posted this evening, Friday evening. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to break out the sulfamic acid here, and we're going to try and experiment and see if we can uh, denox this gold solution with sulfamic acid. I don't have much experience using sulfamic acid, but the experience I do have uh, dictates caution here because it will bubble up and boil the gold solution over out of the beaker. So I'm adding just very small amounts here to begin with. And uh, what it does is it creates a reaction that drives off the excess nitric. And we can tell when that's happening, when fume production begins uh, appearing inside the beaker. So I'm going to put a lid on there just to make sure that we're going to capture some fumes if we produce any here. And if you notice right here, I do see some fume production beginning to form inside that beaker. But as I continue to add small doses of sulfamic acid, those fumes clear up and it seems to be having the desired effect of driving off the excess nitric acid with that sulfamic acid addition. I think what we'll do is take this down off the heat now. I don't see a whole lot of fume production going on in there. And I don't have a whole lot of experience using sulfamic acid. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull it down let it cool off. I've added some ice to our solution to cool it off, dilute it, and precipitate out any silver chloride that may be present so we can filter our solution. Here we go. As you can see, we've got some junk that we filtered out. And so what we'll do now is we're gonna get our gold solution. Into a uh, clean beaker. I've got some ice in a beaker down here. Let's go ahead and pour this in. The ice is to uh, keep it cooled off. If there is still any excess nitric in here, then that will subdue the reaction, keeping it cool with some ice. Now we're going to add some stump out. Stump out by bonide is sodium metabisulfite. We're going to add this in and precipitate the gold. Here we go. Should be about an ounce in here is what I'm guessing. I 
that should just about do it for us. Give us a stir. Let me reach in here to get a little of our solution on a piece of filter paper. And we're going to test this with stannous chloride just to make sure we've got all the gold dropped out of that solution. And there you can see that negative stannous test means all the gold has been precipitated. Okay, this is Friday night. And I think what we'll do is go ahead and call it for a part one right here. I'm going to let this settle overnight and then we'll come out in the morning and continue processing this. This will conclude part one of the Waste Containers Recovery and Refining series of videos. Thank you for watching.